to my channel. Today we will start a new chapter, chapter 4, magnetic field. In this video, we will continue with discussing 4.2 resultant magnetic field produced by the current carry conductor. Okay, so for this uh, subtopic, we have three types of B. The first one is for B for a straight conductor where the equation is equal to U0 I over 2 pi R. And the second equation is B for R, a coin where the equation is equal to mu naught i over 2r and the third equation is b solenoid okay so solenoid here we also have two equations the first one is mu naught and i the second one is half mu naught and i okay so mu naught and i when the question mentioned i want to find the magnetic field produced by the solenoid at the midpoint or at the center of the coin of the solenoid Okay, so half mu naught n i is the value when b is at the end of the solenoid. Okay, where n here is equal to the number of terms per unit length. Okay, so here we have three equations. Okay, we go to example one first. Where here we have wire x carry 30 ampere and is placed parallel 3 cm away from the similar wire y. And the wire y carry a current of 6 ampere. Okay, find the magnitude and the directions of the magnetic flux density midway between them. Okay, so we want to find B midway between these two wires. Okay, so we want to find the resultant. So when the current are in the same direction, so the first example is here we have two wire, wire X, and also we have wire Y. Okay, so this is wire X, this is wire Y, and uh, the question already mentioned same direction. Uh, the current is flowing, for example, flowing upward. Okay, so we must use right hand grip. Uh, we must use right hand grip to determine the directions of the magnetic field. Okay, so this is the directions of the current. This is the directions of uh, the magnetic field. Okay, so if you use a flaming left hand. Okay, so you can use right hand grip to determine the directions of the magnetic field. For wire X, okay, wire X, if you uh, grab the wire, okay, so you find that the uh, magnetic field is actually flowing in in a uh, anti-clockwise directions okay so this is the magnetic field produced by wire x uh, when there's a current flowing through okay so we want to find the uh, magnetic flux density b at midway between the wire okay so the wire length is 3 cm so midway here meaning that the midway this point let's say i label as point a okay is actually only uh, 1.5 cm from x and 1.5 cm from y Okay, so meaning that at this point A here is actually experience a magnetic field produced by um, wire X. Okay, so this direction is actually acting into the pitch. Okay, so this is our BX. Okay, it's into the pitch. Okay, next. Okay, wire Y also there's a current flowing through. Okay, so when there's current flowing through, of course, automatically it will produce a magnetic field. Where the magnetic field here, okay, so we must draw, okay, we must use the right hand grip to determine. So similar the directions of the magnetic field also is anti-clockwise okay so this one it will come out this is VY okay so meaning that at point A okay at point A here okay at point A it actually experienced magnetic field from wire X and also magnetic field from wire Y okay okay now because of BX is opposite direction with BY so we need to determine the direction okay so first we must make an assumption first where positive I assume is into the page Okay, negative, I assume is up from the page. Okay, so this is what I this is the assumptions that I made. Okay, so you can do in opposite. Okay, meaning that positive out and then uh, negative into also can. Okay, so this is what is my assumption. Okay, so this is okay, so this is the assumption that I made. Okay, now BX is actually into the page. So I substitute positive indicate that it's into the page. However, VY is actually out from the page. So I substitute negative. Okay, so if you draw a from the top view, if let's say this is your eyes, okay, you, okay, you observe from top view, meaning that, okay, here we have two wire, okay, here we have two wire, let's say wire uh, X, and the current is come out from the wire X, so I put a dot, okay, and also I have wire Y, and wire Y the current also come out from the wire, okay, so BX also, okay, BX is actually moving in anti-clockwise, okay, it's moving in anti-clockwise, okay, and it actually touch point A, okay, let's say this is my point A, 
okay this is my point a so the magnetic field is actually tangent to the radius so actually it is acting into the pitch so this is my vx okay and the direction okay is always tangent to the sphere so this is tangent okay so next wire y okay wire y also experience a magnetic field okay it's also experience a magnetic field okay so wire y also is uh, anti-clockwise okay it's anti-clockwise so when you reach here it's actually is actually going downward okay similar it also the directions of the magnetic field also tangent to the radius okay so this is our by okay it must be tangent to the radius okay so meaning that if you refer here at point a so this point a actually experience two magnetic field one is bx into another one is by up from the page okay so i substitute here positive bx Okay, because this is a straight conductor, so we refer here, straight conductor equation is mu naught i over 2 pi r. Okay, so I substitute here, mu naught i, i is i x over 2 pi r minus mu naught i y over 2 pi r. Okay, so I can factorize out all the value mu naught 2 pi r, mu naught 2 pi r because we know that r is the distance between uh, the wire and the dot, so it's 1.5. Okay, so I factorize out all the value. When mu naught is equal to 4 pi exponent negative 7, 2 pi r, r is 1.5 cm. So I convert it into a meter. Okay, and then i x. Okay, i x is 30, i y is 6. Okay, so therefore the answer that we will get, we will get positive 3.2 exponent negative 4 tesla. Okay, so this is the value that we get. This, this is a value 3.2 okay and we must refer back to the positive one right, the direction so based on this diagram just now okay positive here just now i mentioned is into the page therefore positive here meaning that based on the diagram based on the assumptions that i made is actually into the into the page okay okay next if let's say wire x and wire y the current are flowing in opposite direction okay so i need to draw again where we have two wire okay again i have wire x and also we, i have wire y okay so wire x and wire y wire x is the current is flowing upward and then wire y is opposite direction okay so the first one current that flowing through wire x is going upward so you use right hand grip okay you found that actually the directions of the current is anti-clockwise Okay, similar when you touch point, okay, let's say point, uh, point B, okay, point B, the current, uh, the magnetic field that passing through B is actually into the page. So this is Bx. Okay, okay similar for wire Y, when there's current flowing through, automatically it will produce a magnetic field. Where you use right hand grip, when you grab it, okay, you find that the directions of the magnetic field is actually and uh, clockwise. Okay, it's actually clockwise. Okay, so when you reach point here, it also will into the page. Okay, uh, so if I say I draw from the top view, okay, from the top view, this is my top view. I X is up from the page. I Y is actually into the page. So when into the page is cross, huh, cross. Okay, so the magnetic field produced by I X. Okay, is moved in. Okay, it's moved in anti clockwise. Okay, so when you reach here at point B, this is my point B. Okay, it actually the magnetic field for Bx is actually into the page. Okay, because it must be tangent to the radius, uh, to the sphere. Okay, next for wire Y, here we also have the magnetic field. Okay, where the magnetic field for wire Y because current is flowing downward, so the current are flowing downward. Uh, the magnetic field will move in okay clockwise direction okay so when it comes to here it will go up or into the page as well okay it already tangent to the sphere okay therefore at point b at point b here is actually experienced two magnetic field that is into the page so our b at point b is equal to bx plus by Okay, since both are into the page, so based on the assumption just now, into the page is positive. So I substitute positive, positive. Okay, I purposely substitute positive. I just want to show you the direction uh, is into the page. Huh? If you don't want to substitute positive, also can. Huh? Just, I just want to show you where uh, the directions of the magnetic field is into the page. So I substitute positive, positive. Okay, then substitute the equation. New naught 
I x over 2 pi r plus mu naught I y over 2 pi r. Okay, so again, I can factorize out mu naught over 2 pi r, mu naught over 2 pi r. Okay, so mu naught is 4 pi exponent negative 7, 2 pi r, r is 0 0.1 uh, is equal to 1.5 cm. Eh? Okay, then I x is 30, I y is 6. Okay, therefore, we will get positive 4.8 exponent negative 4 Tesla. Okay, so again, the value that we get is positive, meaning that the direction is into the page. Okay, so this is the questions related to the straight conductor. Okay, so we continue with example 2. Okay, example 2 here is the questions uh, related to a coin. So a closely wound circular coin of the diameter 10 cm has 500 turns and carries the current of 2.5 ampere. Okay, determine the magnitude of the magnetic field. So the question asks us to find the magnitude only. Huh? We want to find the magnitude without direction. Okay, so if you refer back to the equation just now, equation for a coin here is mu naught i over 2 r. Okay, so I substitute here. V for a coin is mu naught i over 2r where mu naught is 4 pi exponent negative 7 current is 2.5 and the radius here they give you the diameter so the radius will be 5 cm okay and the question also mentions that there is 500 turns so we must times 500 and because there is a 500 turns okay therefore uh, we will get 1.57 times negative 2 Tesla okay so this is the value for the magnetic field at the center of the coin okay next we go to example 3 okay uh, example 3 is 2000 tons of solenoid okay with the length 40 cm resistance 16 ohm connected with 20 volt supply find the magnetic flux density at midpoint okay so here they want to find B at midpoint for solenoid. So we refer back just now the equation for solenoid. Okay, solenoid when uh, okay, solenoid here at midpoint. So it's mu naught n i. Okay, so we substitute inside use these equations. Okay, B at midpoint at center is equal to mu naught n i. Okay, where we don't have n, we can substitute or we can change n equals to number of turns per unit length okay so we can substitute or 4 pi exponent negative 7 number of turns is 2000 i okay i we don't have okay length for the solenoid is 40 cm so it's 0 0.4 okay so we need to find first what is the value for the current okay so v equals to i r okay where we have the resistor and also we have the potential Therefore, I is equal to 20 over 16. Okay, so we substitute inside here. 20 over 16. Okay, therefore, B at the center of the solenoid is 7.9 exponent negative 3 Tesla. Okay, okay next we go to example 3B. Okay, a solenoid length is 1.5 and 2.6 of the diameter carries the current of 18 ampere the magnetic field inside the solenoid is 2.3 milli tesla okay calculate the length of the wire forming the solenoid okay so so this is a solenoid the length of the solenoid here already give 1.5 meter Okay, so this is the length of the solenoid. So now they want us to find the length of the wire. Okay, wire that is inside. Okay, forming the solenoid. So this is the wire. We want to find what is the length of the wire. Okay, so we know that the length of the wire we can find by using okay by finding the number of turn times the uh, circumference. Okay, so first we must find first how many turns. Okay, so we can use B for solenoid mu naught n i over length where b is 2.3 milli okay so you must substitute power of negative 3 mu naught is 4 pi exponent negative 7 
Okay, number of turns time i is 18 over length of the solid line is 1.5. Okay, therefore, the number of turns we get 52.5. Okay, so we must round off become 152 turns only. Okay, again, we cannot round off become 153 because this is uh, not a complete turn. Uh, so we must take the value 152 only, uh, 152 turns only. Okay, 0 0.5 is actually not complete. Okay, now we want to find the length. Before that, we must find the circumference first. Okay, where the circumference equation is equal to 2 pi r or we can write 2d. D is the diameter. Okay, so 2d, D here already give you 2.6 cm. So convert into meter. Okay, therefore we will get 2 pi. Eh? Okay, we will get 8.17 exponent negative 2 meter. Okay, so meaning that the wire, okay, for uh, the length of the wire we can find, okay, the length of the wire is equal to 152 turns times 8.17 exponent negative 2 therefore we will get 12.5 meter long okay so that's all for this subtopic we'll continue with the next subtopic magnetic force see you on the next video bye